Georgie? No. Do you want to balloon to it, Georgie? No. Take No. What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. So in this video, I was really thinking about what kind of sick intro I wanted to come in here with and I was having trouble coming up with one and I was not going to do one, but I'm like, Josh, no, you're an entrepreneur. You are a winner. You are not Pete Carroll. We are not taking the L here. We are running the ball on the one yard line. You've got Marshawn Lynch in the backfield. You've got a guy that's been borderline unstoppable in this part of the field. And then ultimately I came up with this. Did I get you? Did I? Did I? All right, cue the drum. on YouTube is I do not have to worry about copyright literally at all because I don't make any money off YouTube so I can play any song I would like. But anyway guys on a more serious note here you can tell by the title of this video I'm going to be talking about what I personally think is best for a newer investor stocks or real estate. But before we even get into that let me just say it doesn't matter what you personally are investing in stocks or real estate as long as first of all you're developing your own opinions and as long as you're following your own personal preference because everyone's going to have a different view on this. Some people are going to want to hold stocks. Some people are going to want to hold real estate some people are just going to want to hold cash. I personally think a mix of stocks and real estate is very good once you get to a certain point, but hey, you know what? That's just me. Obviously, from everything I put out, you guys can probably tell I just think stocks are a better investment for someone that's just getting started into investing. But before anyone comments, Josh, real estate is better for ABC reasons. First off, did you listen to anything I just said? And second off, if you want me to do a video on why real estate is better than stocks, I can absolutely do that. And let me know out in the comments if you want to see that. And I actually might do that anyway, to be perfectly honest. So the first reason I personally think that stocks are a better deal and a better path to go when you first get started investing is because you have the direct access to capital. Chances are when you first get started investing, you're not going to have a ton of money to deploy into any particular asset. And even if you are in the minority that does have a lot of bills, you're also probably just not going to want to deploy it all into one asset all at once. And let's say an emergency comes up. Let's say you need the money for medical reasons. You have a family emergency. Maybe you got in a car accident. Whatever the reason is, the point is you need those George Washingtons. If an emergency comes up, you can sell your stocks instantly and put that money towards whatever emergency you have at that time. But with real estate, it's a little more complicated. Obviously selling your house, which actually that would be really unfortunate if you had some sort of emergency, whether it's medical or car accident, you had to sell your house. That's actually really sad. So I'm sorry if that's happened to any of you, but selling your house overnight is not the easiest thing in the world to do. There's no button in real estate where you can instantly click sell and have that money. Another reason I think it's personally better to go more towards stocks as opposed to real estate when you first, first get started investing Keep in mind, this is just my opinion. This is not financial advice of any sort or anything along those lines, but you might be limited to what houses you can buy in the real estate market. For example, it might be hard for you to buy a $1.2 million home if you're only making $35,000 a year, let's say. But in stocks, if you have $5,000 you want to invest or $1,000 you want to invest, heck, $100 that you want to put into the stock market, you can put that into any stock that you want with the lovely, luxurious, perfect, fractional shares option. So you really don't have any limits on what stock you can put your money into. Now moving on to number two here, and I actually don't know how this audio is gonna come out because I'm using a different mic. So we're gonna hope for the best here and just see what happens. But anyway, moving on to number two here, investing in real estate is simply more work than investing in stocks. Now this one could be a little bit debatable and I can 100% see that. Now if you're picking individual stocks, that is 100% a lot of work. I know firsthand, it's not easy picking individual stocks and being super successful when picking individual stocks. But if you're just buying and holding index fund and you're just investing passively like that, 100% of the time the stock market is going to be easier. When I was actually doing my research for this video and I googled something along something about real estate, I can't even remember what it was, but it came up with real estate, investing in real estate is more of a sweat equity action. But what I mean by that, when you invest in real estate, say it's a rental property, you're gonna have to deal with tenants, you're gonna have to deal with renovations, you're gonna have to fix things when they break, you might have to cut the grass because grass grows. And a lot of these things you have to be physically there to do. But as opposed to the stock market, you can research stocks on the coffee shop, you can research stocks from your house, you can research stocks from 
Australia, you can research them from anywhere, but it's gonna be hard to cut the grass today if you're in Australia. <laughs> researching stocks and investing in the stock market can teach you a lot about business and the economy. Now, don't get me wrong. I think there's a lot of things you can learn by investing in real estate. I think you're going to learn how to take on responsibility. I think you're going to learn how to prioritize things and really focus on your main priorities. But since I started researching the stock market and really investing in the stock market, I feel like I've learned a lot more about business. I feel like my mindset's changed a lot. I feel like I've learned a lot more about the economy. And I really did not learn any of those things when I was researching real estate investing. I think by researching stocks and really looking into these companies and really diving deep into them, it can really change a person's mindset and mold someone into something completely different. As I talked about in my last video, I truly believe that reading can change a person's mindset, and I really know this firsthand because reading books change my mindset completely. I think by just researching stocks, you'll learn a lot about business, you'll learn a lot about taxes, you'll have more of a long-term perspective. I think you'll be able to look at things from a bigger picture, more of a broader perspective. You'll really learn how to listen to people and how to always look for your opportunities. And in addition to that, I really think it's going to expand your vocabulary, assuming you're actually reading this document that I always preach that you need to read before you invest in anything. You're not just throwing money around gambling. Plus, if you also want to build out a business and that's something you really want to pursue, this can definitely pay you dividends. Think of it as you want to master Kobe Bryant's step back, RIP. How are you going to do that? How are you going to master Kobe Bryant's step back and essentially replicate it? Well, you're going to watch film on Kobe. You're going to see what Kobe does. You're going to watch his footwork. You're going to watch how he shifts his weight. You're going to watch how he, where he wants his defender to be. And it's the same way with stocks. If you want to build out a big business and you really want to build out a big company, wouldn't it it makes sense to research different companies and see how they're run. Honestly, this one was a little bit jumbled. I think it made sense, but if it didn't make sense, just take my word for it. Since I started researching stocks, my little brain hole has really been able to comprehend much, much, much more information than it ever did before. Now, the fourth thing on this list here, and this is going to be more of a quicker one before we get into the final item on this list, but when you invest in real estate, you're going to have to pay closing costs. Now, this is going to vary on so many different things. I'm not even going to put a range on it because there's just so many things that can vary. So I'm just going to say, let's say you pay 2% in closing costs on a $300,000 house. That's six grand. Now imagine if you had that six grand to put back into other assets. But with stocks, there's no transaction fees, there's no closing costs. You can take this six grand that you would have had to pay in closing costs when investing in real estate and put it back into more stocks to make you more money. Because remember, you can fix anything in the world with two things, a positive attitude, and more Dogecoin. But anyway, the fact that we can place commission-free trades now is seriously because of Robinhood, even though I would literally not recommend them to my worst enemy for literally 200 reasons. If Robinhood did never take that step and put towards the commission-free trades, then we would honestly still be paying per trade or per investment, per transaction, however you want to phrase it today. And the last thing we're going to talk about on this list, and I'm actually going to try to make it as quick as possible because my camera's about to die because I was supposed to charge it last night, and I didn't because that's just who I am as a person. But anyway, the last thing we're going to talk about on this list is when you invest in real estate one way or the other there's a good chance it's going to be a significant lifestyle change look at it this way if i buy an index fund or a stock my life's really not going to change that much from today to tomorrow but if i invest in real estate if i buy a real estate property then my life is going to change one way or the other significantly if i buy a vacation home i don't have to worry about someone taking care of it when i'm not there if i buy a rental property i'm gonna have to worry about getting tenants in there and fixing it up and maybe renovating it if i buy a primary residence and it's just going to be somewhere i want to live i'm gonna have to worry about moving it's going to change so many things about your life and it's going to shift your priorities as well. So if you are going to buy into real estate for whatever the cause is, it's going to change your life one way or the other. So to summarize everything I said in this video, I personally think investing in stocks is better. I think it's better for someone that maybe doesn't have a lot of money and is just getting started that wants to build up some sort of investment portfolio. I think you can build great assets through the stock market. And like I just said, it really doesn't require any money at all. And overall, I think it just lays a great foundation and it's going to allow you to branch into other things over time. Anyway, guys, I'm saying that that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I didn't know if we we're going to make it to the end of this video because I really thought my camera was going to die because I didn't charge it overnight because that's just who I am as a person. Just kidding. I mean, it happens. But if you want to see a part two to this video and you want me to discuss why I think real estate is a better investment than the stock market, I'd love to do that. I might do it anyway. I'm talking really fast right now because my camera is going to die literally any second. So again, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe as always. And I'll see all of you in the next video.